Welcome to NTN Nightly. I am Janelle Novel. This edition Stop Stories. Over 50,000 St. Lucians have been vaccinated against COVID-19 with more doses on the way. The Ministry of Health addresses concerns about the safety of the AstraZeneca vaccine. And the community of Lage Babono to welcome a new primary school. St. Lucia's national COVID-19 vaccination campaign has gained significant ground since implementation four months ago. However, the Ministry of Health says there is still considerable work to be done. As of Sunday, 13th June 2021, a total of 29,655 first doses and 20,589 second doses of the AstraZeneca COVID-19 vaccine had been administered. This represents 16.4% and 11.4% of the population receiving the first and second doses, respectively. During the month of May 2021, the campaign modified its initial phased approach to be complemented with a mobile component to facilitate greater ease of access to the vaccine by the general public. Nurse Tekla Jabatis is the Assistant Principal Nursing Officer and Vaccination Supervisor. Vaccines are offered at routine static vaccination sites every week island-wide, as well as at mobile sites within communities and at locations of high human traffic. The elderly, people with mobile challenges, and people living with chronic non-communicable conditions continue to be vaccinated within their homes to ensure individuals at high risk for severe COVID-19 infection are rich and provided with the protection offered by the vaccine. It should be noted that a cross-section of the private sector has partnered with the Ministry of Health to provide vaccine to their management and staff within their workplace. This has proven to be an effective approach for increasing vaccination coverage amounts individuals in their productive years of life. The Ministry of Health notes particular success with this strategy within the hotel sector. To date, some hotels have achieved vaccine coverage of about 65 to 70 percent of their staff complement. This is a remarkable achievement, especially in a sector where there is a higher risk of possible exposure to the COVID-19 virus, given the nature of the heightened level of daily interaction with a wide range of people. This reduces the likelihood of a surge in cases, given this level of protection and helping strengthen productivity in that sector. As the economy slowly reopens and restrictions are lessened, Nurja Bhatti says the need to have a significant proportion of the workforce covered with the COVID-19 vaccine becomes increasingly important to protect the health of our citizenry. She notes that the demand for vaccines worldwide far surpasses the supply as we are still in a critical point in the pandemic where vaccine supply is limited. However, St. Lucia's third trance of the vaccine, another COVAX facility is expected in the coming weeks. Currently, the AstraZeneca vaccine is the only vaccine available in St. Lucia. The Ministry of Health continues to engage authorized vaccine suppliers with the intention of adding other COVID-19 vaccines to the current program. Nurse Jabati is also assured that the Ministry is carefully monitoring the use of the COVID-19 vaccine. Vaccine safety and monitoring for severe adverse events remain a critical component of the vaccine rollout. It has been noted that recent reports released by global health authorities indicates that there is an association of blood clotting events after the use of the AstraZeneca vaccine. We at the Ministry of Health are aware that this may have contributed to a level of hesitancy towards the vaccine and thus affecting uptake. We assure all that these events have been confirmed as being extremely rare and an unlikely expected outcome for the vast majority of people who receive this vaccine. It is important to consider that clotting problems 
are a common complication of COVID-19 infection and it is also associated with other prevalent health conditions, including obesity. The Ministry of Health assures the citizenry that the safety of each individual is of paramount importance. There is in place a vaccine monitoring system which allows for the keeping of a record of any adverse effect and a timely intervention if this occurs. Given this monitoring system, it is important that each individual who has been vaccinated and experience a response beyond the expected side effects, contact the healthcare provider to report the experience. Though this monitoring system exists to capture adverse events in an effort to ensure vaccine safety, Nurse Jabati says it is important to bear in mind that vaccine benefits continue to vastly outweigh any possible risk. The construction of a new primary school in the community of Lage Babono is underway following a sword turning ceremony on the grounds of the building site recently. Chris Satney reports. The project is being undertaken at a cost of some 7.5 million EC dollars through funding from the government of St. Lucia and co-financed by the Caribbean Development Bank, the CDB. Being executed under the Education Quality Improvement Project, equipped, the new Laguerre Primary School building will comprise a basement, ground floor, and a top floor. The top floor will house four classrooms, a library, which will also house an IT laboratory, and a music room. The ground floor will house four classrooms, a sick bay, staff room, and principal's office. The basement will house an open breezeway, male and female washrooms, and a janitorial storage area. Prime Minister Alan Chastney, who spoke at the sword turning ceremony, says students within today's modern world must be given the skills necessary to help them adapt, think for themselves, and to continuously strive to be the best. This is the vision. This is the future. This is understanding the capacity of our country to be able to grow. And it's recognizing that the infrastructure, the smart school in itself, is not sufficient. And that's why a big part of the EQUIP program has been the first part for the first three years has been about training the teachers to be in a smart school. There's no point in giving a child an EPAD if the teacher doesn't understand it. If the teacher themselves don't have the vision of where we need to go to be successful in the future. And we cannot continue to rely on the faith alone that what the teachers are doing is going to be successful. The school was due to be constructed under the Basic Education and Enhancement B project, but was delayed as a result of the passage of Hurricane Thomas, which resulted in the Ministry of Education diverting funds to repair the many schools that were ravaged by the 2010 cyclone. Minister for Education, Innovation, Gender Relations and Sustainable Development Honorable Dr. Gail Brigabert says the new smart school will be equipped to better prepare students to exist in a world that is continuously advancing. It needs to be smart in terms of the infrastructural integrity and its ability to withstand climatic events. It needs to be smart to the extent that it, it incorporates information communication technology. It needs to be smart to cater for the multiple intelligences of our students. It needs to be smart to reflect our own incorporation of renewable forms of energy. It needs to be smart in recognizing that our students have different mental and physical capacities and so we must cater for those. MP for Babano, Honorable Ezekiel Joseph, says the project is long overdue and says he looks forward to finally addressing the issues of the school, which has been temporarily housed in a restricted space adjacent to the construction site. I want to say to my people of Lage, thank you very much for your patience. I must see the, 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 the parents, thank you very much for your patience. I know your support is there. I know, likewise, 
the teachers are looking forward to that completion of this project. But we want you all to be more involved even after the school is completed. Your involvement is critical to assist the teachers in the development of our students. That's important. So having a new school is one thing, but you must give the principal and the teachers the support. The contract for the school's construction has been awarded to Construction and Industrial Equipment Limited, whose CEO, Reno Kajada, is confident of completing on time and within budget. Uh, we started off the school, and we you know the little rains around on the kind of soil that we have here, it's going to hold us back just a little wee bit. But once we get out of it, it's going to be all easy and we'll be moving very quickly. Under the Education Quality Improvement Project EQUIP, two other schools will benefit from the construction of new units to enhance the educational and comfort capacities of these institutions. Contracts for the construction of these units were recently awarded and signed with Prudy's Construction Services Limited for the construction of the unit at the Gordon at Walcott Memorial Methodist at a cost of 6.5 million EC dollars and the Construction and Industrial Equipment Limited for the construction of the unit at the Vidbutai Primary School at a cost of 4.5 million EC dollars. From the Communications Unit of the Ministry of Education, Innovation, Gender Relations and Sustainable Development, I am Chris Satney reporting. The Early Childhood Services Unit of the Department of Education, Innovation and Gender Relations is informing residents of the community of Grosily of the registration of children for the government-operated Early Childhood Center in the district. Parents and guardians desirous of obtaining a space for the child or ward between the ages of six weeks to four years at the center are asked to register at the Early Childhood Services Unit, La Clary, from Monday 21st to Friday 25th, June 2021, between the hours of 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. You are to bring along the following documents. One passport size or photograph of the child, the child's birth certificate, health card, your ID card, and a recent utility bill showing proof of residence. The Early Childhood Services Unit is located on Gordon's Lane, which is opposite the Larkley Health Center. The NRDF building is at the entrance of this lane. The unit is the fourth building on the right on Gordon's Lane. For more information, please contact the Early Childhood Services Unit at 451-7710 or 7300222. This is NTN Nightly. Up next, Primus Hutchinson with the NTN Nouvelle Aquayol. Point pour caution. Et fait tout ça au ni pour faire pour sauver de l'eau. Laver bagay sale à dans un bassin de l'eau, pas quitter de l'eau à couille. Aussi, pas quitter de l'eau à couille, l'air ou cachoué pan. Si toilet bol ou ka kole ou ni pou mette ten an di de bak la. Toilet bol la ka kole si ou ka wè kole a de bol la avan ou flosh li. An toilet bol ki ka kole ka gaspye an chai glo. Servi an bom pito an hoz pou lave moto ka. Le ou ka lave had, servi de lo wè se an pou ouze fle ou. Le ou sove de lo ou ka bese manye an ou ka servi tepe an man. Sove de lo tout le ou ni an chans. Ek chorje tout de lo e pontan. Ça, c'est en commission Rodwasco. Welcome back. We join Primus Hutchinson for the NTN Nouvelle à Quayol. Monsieur le général, Monsieur et Madame, département, qui est responsable pour l'information du gouvernement, ça c'est GIS, ça c'est la télévision nationale pour le NTN, qui est présenté au Nouvelle à Quayol, présenté au Primus Hutchinson. Hutchinson. C'est un pays en Caraïbes qui a formé, ça nous connaît quand OICS, qui a célébré et observé 40 ans de depuis le agrément de Bastère en pays Saint-Kitts en l'année 1981, côté organisation ça a été formé. C'est ici, c'est parmi sept en ce pays qui a signé le agrément ça. 40e anniversaire ça. Katobe a de yon tan kote wijon, sa se wijon se te peyi sa la, ni pou fe batay kou sa la, e pi yon pandemi ki selew a tou bonman. Prezentman, organizasyon OECS la, ni wans mam ki simi oliwon se te peyi karib la, 
commencé et puis Antigue et Barbuda, Dominique, La Grenade, Montserrat, saint lucie saint Kitts et Nevis, Séversan et La Grenadien, ce pays, l'île des Vierges Anglais, Anguilla, Martinique et Guadeloupe. Devant une adresse pour observer cela, directeur général pour ce pays, où il cela, Dr. Didicus Jules, déclaré que ce pays caribla, j'a bat la jet la vie économique et sociale ensemble et ça aide yo pour comprendre que ces diverses situations qui ka divisé yo ni moins significance que ça qui ka embrassé yo Dr Jules crie en sous cet pays là pour changer qui observance carotte l'année anniversaire ça là qu'on l'occasion pour changer ces moments yo tenir pour te bien ensemble et puis on a l'autre pour coopérer en unification contre pèse et force les grands marchés internationaux. Dr. Jules aussi m'a dit que les citoyens de pays là pour changer aussi ces chefs politiques et exécutifs qui travaillent ensemble pour guider ces pays là, disons, grand la route là. Il m'a dit les citoyens de pays là pour pas jamais oublier et fort tous ces pays là pour de bout contre les plus forts en l'environnement international. Organisation, ni commitment et dédication pour renforcer des goûts la vie économique li, et pour établir plus fort unification à parmi ces membres-là. Aussi, à cela aussi, qu'a mis en pile importance à ce droit les hommes et droit par loi, et aussi qu'a encouragé bonne gouvernance entre ces petits pays-là qui est dépendant, qu'on ça qui dépend toujours à ces petits pays-là, car oui, l'organisation aussi à cela, qu'a été une grande confrontation à ce média social. Le 18 juin 2021, en bas, conduite Premier ministre Lagunade, Dr. Keith Michel, qui est chairman pour le présent, sa face face public à sa page Facebook et YouTube à 10h bon matin, vendredi, le 18 au mois de juin. Ministre de Santé, j'ai rapporté une réduction en cas de maladie corona pour ces semaines qui passent. Là aussi, il y une réduction en ces quantités de monde qui ont souffert et puis étouffement, et moins de monde qui visité l'hôpital Victoria, et moins aussi qui visité ces cliniques au Liban pays là. La majorité en ces cas corona qui sont sortis en face de tout le pays, et aussi Babono et Gozile en face de Nord. En même temps, les officiers de santé qui ont continué pour ménager la capacité de la maladie pour ne pas se manger en résultat des activités sociales. Le chef officier médical, Dr. Sharon Belma George, dit que le ministère a continué pour tester et changer les ouvert tous les jours. Mais pendant l'année en réduction, généralement, le ministère a apporté aussi une augmentation de la nouvelle formation de maladie corona qui est sortie à l'Angleterre, qui est en cette liste à présent. Dr. Belma George a déclaré que le ministère a reçu le résultat de la maladie nouveau sala de l'organisation CAFA. Si un mois dit qu'il y a noté 19 en plus, en cas de corona anglais, ça a été et que ça a été le mois pour 41. Tout ça, c'est ça, c'est cette liste. Et que la majorité, c'est le cas de corona anglais, sorti à Babono, Gozile et Castri. Dr. Belma George, qui avait été cette liste, pour savoir que le public a été sorti en bas de la menace de corona et que l'autre, c'est la formation de maladie qui a sorti en grand pays et aussi Martinique, qui est le voisinage. Et que ça, c'est parce que le monde n'a pas qu'à suivre. Ces protocoles-là, comme nous supposons faire. C'est un mois qui a continué pour conseiller le public-là pour prendre toutes les précautions et pour prendre toutes les précautions qui sont nécessaires. La ville en main, sanitaire, pas participer à l'activité sociale, à la place publique et rester loin de monde qui a montré si une maladie. service de la vaccine a continué sans paiement pour les membres publics-là en plusieurs communes. En total, de 29 655 personnes ont trouvé vaccinés. Et c'est un mois qui a encouragé le public là pour venir prendre une dose de la vaccine pour abattre le traitement à l'hôpital et plus mauvais toujours, la mort. Service d'éducation pour les enfants, un département d'éducation qui a informé les résidents en paroisse Kozile pour aller enregistrer les enfants pour l'institution institution d'éducation des enfants qui a bas opération au gouvernement qui établit en communio. Les parents qui ont des désirs pour enregistrer les enfants à l'âge de 6 ans pour 4 ans, ils ont demandé 
pour visiter Health Center à la, la Clary lundi le 21 pour vendredi le 25 en mois de à 9h bon matin pour 3h après-midi. Bon, c'est faut yo porter document qu'on yo porter passeport des affaires, baptiste, carte santé et carte ID ou même et aussi yo bill utilité pour montrer preuve côté ou résident. Institution service prédication des enfants qu'a trouvé à ce Gordon's Lane qui vis à vis Health Center à la Clary, à ce face à Dwight Gordon's Lane. Ou aussi, sa téléphone est 451-7710-7300-0222. Et c'est comme ça, nous avons trouvé une nouvelle là. Je vous remercie au temps pour vous garder. Je vous remercie pour l'invitation. Je vous remercie pour vous donner un conseil de la vie. Je vous remercie pour l'autre nouvelle à quoi vous avez présenté. Je vous remercie pour vous donner un conseil de la vie. Merci à Pearl Primus. And that brings us to the end of NTN Nightly. Join us next time at 7 p.m. with a repeat at 7 a.m. You can also catch up with us anytime on the St. Lucia Government Facebook page or YouTube channel. I am Janelle Norvell.